Flip Wilson planted a flag? No, no. What do you think about Flip Wilson? Oh, uh, one of the funniest guys around. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that sure. because he's here tonight. You're kidding. No, would I kid you? Oh, then we got a great show. Oh, and we got all the regular gang here. Mm -hmm. Just about the greatest bunch of cuckoos you ever saw in your life. You know? Oh, hi. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of our regular cast members, Miss Joanne Worley. <laughs> Joe, we were just oh. talking about you. Yes, yeah. I know you were. <laughs> now, uh, please, for myself, I'm not sensitive, but do you mind? Hmm. The others, they really don't like to be called cuckoos. Oh, see? What did I tell you? Well, if that's the way everybody feels, I'll just never mention the word cuckoo again. You won't? No. Oh, you promise? Promise? Well, thank you. So, yeah. Oh, thank you, Dan. Oh, you're so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> no, no, we really do appreciate not being cuckoos. <laughs> Everybody really yeah, wants to thank okay. you. Judy, Sorry. Goldie, Ruth, and Eileen, and Henry, and Roddy, and Artie, and Larry, and Gary. We all thank you. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't know what it meant for weeks. Dear, and you call us cuckoos. <laughs> it kind of, you know, drove us crazy. Yeah, wondering yeah. if, well, maybe, really, we down deep. We were cuckoos. <laughs> <laughs> Say Joanne Worley, folks. <laughs> She's just one of our regular cuckoos. Oh, <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? Take me to the party again. Hey, that's not a bad idea. I'd like to take you along too. Come on. Let's go. Well, this one is for Korea, this one's for World War II, and this is for appearing on the Ed Sullivan Show. <laughs> I just found out Adam and Eve were never married. Do you know what that makes all of us? <laughs> General de Gaulle, you know, has nuclear weapons pointed in every direction. Finally found out who his friends are, huh? <laughs> Texas has produced some great men. Sam Houston, Sam Austin, and Lyndon Johnson. Now, two out of three ain't bad. I don't think they should have glorified Bonnie and Clyde. I mean, he was obviously homogeneous, and she was an out-and-out -out pyromaniac. Well, that's, that's because people are confused. Like, every time I ask someone what time it is, they tell me something different. <laughs> I'm in favor of keeping the church up to date, but I question the need for a loose leaf Bible. I've got everything a man could want, so why am I a woman? All I really want is a woman to love and a mother for my children, and I just hope the two never meet each other. <laughs> I should have heard the speech Rap Brown gave it on Laborhood last night. It was a riot. <laughs> Boris is in favor of the two-party system, just as long as they're both at my place. <laughs> it is said, the moving finger writes, and having writ moves on. But what then of the dancing maiden and her strange baubles? <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, where'd you get all those medals? Well, that's a darn nice view, Wes. This is for career. This is for World War II. This is for having Georgie Jessel on our head. I hear on Malibu Beach this summer they're insisting on one-piece bathing suits. I just wonder, do they mean the top or the bottom? <laughs> Say, is Harold Wilson in the Conservative Party? No, he's in Labour, and we've waited two years for him to deliver. <laughs> My boyfriend and I enjoyed In the Heat of the Night so much, next week we're going to see the movie. <laughs> Yesterday I bought a new car. Today I bought a new horn for it. Herb Alpert. <laughs> I'm all for updating the wedding ceremony, but I still think I do is better than, yeah, baby. My doctor said I had to cut down on my
my love life. I said, talking about it or thinking about it. Do you ever get uptight? No, but sometimes I go to bed a little loaded. <laughs> 300 years we've been praying and getting to your schools. And now that we're in, they pass a law against praying. For my birthday, Boris gave me a Polish goldfish. It drowned. In the words of the Maharishi, he who sifteth the sands of the desert has naught but a load of grit. <laughs> Considered to be one of your greatest feats. Going with Kay Smith and Annette Funicello in the same lifetime. <laughs> <laughs>